Okay, everybody has their own uh, Umarex hammer story. So my room's kind of a, this is my man cave down here. It's uh, something of a mess, but and I don't have a good stand for my phone, but here is the box. This is the exterior box. Um, I'm not sure what all is packed. Uh, assume there's a bill of sale in here. Our invoice. Let me get a knife here. It's hard to do this with one hand, especially since I'm left handed in my right mind. in here honestly I've watched some of the other videos of people opening their hammer but I've never seen them actually open this out this outside box and I noticed uh, it seemed like early on when we went to ship and then they included some things that I didn't see in some of the later videos so let's see what we have here Outer mine through Pyramid Air. That's my bill of sale. One hammer, one catalog. One Umarex hammer, not a literal hammer. And the catalog, so I guess I can get some slugs for that. Well, let's see what we got, how we open this box up here. open the ends of it so I know that there's a uh, a box within a box on this that much I didn't see I guess other folks didn't see the point in showing you this part of it I kind of understand why especially if they had to hold their phone like I do Doesn't make much sense this was on back order initially it took me it wasn't that long, maybe, ooh, really not long at all. I guess it was uh, less than four weeks from the time I ordered it. Let's see if I can. is the container for the actual box itself. Or the container for the gun, I should say. It's uh, weighs about, according to the specs, it weighed about eight pounds. I know in the early, early on when they were shipping these, they had a t-shirt in here. This is obviously the owner's manual, which I'll look at. Although I have uh, watched many, many, many videos on this already before I even thought about purchasing it. Fortunately, this does have... I believe it has the second magazine here. Each magazine holds two slugs, two bullets, 
projectiles, whatever you want to call them. And then there should be one in the gun as well, if it's the same as other videos that I've seen. Yeah, I tell you, it's kind of hard to do without a, putting my phone on a stand. This is the um, gauge, it tells you how much pressure it has in it. In this case, looks like it's got still a little bit, but uh, it'll pressure up to, I think it was 4,500 PSI. This is the actual carbon fiber chamber. Yeah, there it is. And I have purchased, um, a, haven't assembled it yet, but I, this particular, you can get a much more expensive one from Umarex, like $600, which is almost as much as the gun. This was about $300. Um, it doesn't have the automatic shut off, so you got to watch it when you're filling. And I have the fittings here for that. This is the gun. Feels pretty solid. It does have the extra magazine right here, so I do have two mags for this. And um, so this is it. And I will, as soon as I get a chance to test it, I'll put a, it's got a nice little rubber stop here. I've noticed on the videos that it does have some kick. And, uh, of course, if it's lobbing a uh, 50 caliber, in some cases, I have two um, I purchased. And that's another thing. Early on, they actually sent two boxes of slugs with the gun. They've stopped doing that now. And these slugs are not cheap. Uh, the 275 grain was like 30-some dollars for 20, 20 little pieces of lead. And this is, these are 550 grain. So you can imagine, they're putting those out there well over 100 yards. And uh, this thing has quite a crack to it too, because uh, especially with some of the, the smaller ones, although I think the ideal slug is between this one and this one. I watched a lot of tests and the 300 um, grain, 320 to 350 grain bullets seem to provide the most consistent performance uh, on the target so I'm going to go probably buy several boxes of those and they're running about $30 a box as well so and then uh, knowing I was getting this I also purchased these arrows this gun will actually shoot the arrows so at the end as you can see it fits into the the magazine you slide it down the barrel backwards uh, you know and then these will interchange and take on broadheads on the tips. And uh, these were about $136 for six of them. So nothing's cheap these days. The thing about the lead is you can actually purchase the uh, molds to uh, make your own slugs. I saw several people that do that and they said it's really cheap. Lead's not that expensive and you just have to have the capacity to heat it up, melt it, pour it into the mold and you can even collect your, depending on where you're shooting, you can even collect your old lead as you're shooting. So this is this and I will uh, hopefully get out on the range with it in the near future and just see what I can do. I try to start it 
maybe 50 yards and try 100 yards like I saw other people doing with really good results. So I actually plan to hunt with this. And we'll see how that goes.